This is question 14 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here I'm asked to work out the area of the triangle. So to find out the area of a triangle, it's base times by height divided by 2. So the base is the part that touches the floor, 8, multiplied by the height, which is 7, divided by 2, and that will tell us what the area of our triangle is. So 8 times 7 gives us 56. So it's 56 divided by 2, which I could then say that is 28. So the area of my triangle is going to be 28 centimetres squared. <clears throat> Part B, work out the length AC. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. So this, when I'm asked to find a length and I have been given no other angles, it's a right angled triangle, and I've been given two lengths already, then this is Pythagoras' theorem. And I like to use a just an easy four step method for us to work out what the length when using Pythagoras' theorem is. So that is, I'm going to square, square, then it is add, subtract, so add or subtract depending on what length we're trying to find, and then square root. So four very simple steps to figure out what the length here is. So the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out what side I'm looking to find. That will tell me what, whether I need to add or subtract. So I'm looking to find the side that is opposite the right angle. And so I'm looking to find the hypotenuse, the longest side. So because I'm looking for the longest side, I'm going to be adding instead of subtracting. So let's make a start. So I'm going to square, square 8. So 8 squared. Then I'm going to square 7. So that gives me 64. That gives me 49. Then I'm going to add these two together. 64 plus 49. That gives me an answer of um, 113. Then I'm simply going to square root my answer. So square root in 113. And that will tell me the length AC. So a nice easy four step method to remembering how to do this. To, to answer in a question on Pythagoras square, square, add, square root. If you're looking for a shorter side, so if I was looking to find AB, it would be square, square, subtract, square root. So let's just figure out what the square root of 113 is, and then that will tell us the length AC. So square root of 113, 10.63, it says give your answer correct to two decimal places, so it's simply going to be 10.63. So my final answer here, 10.63. Six, three, and that's my final answer. Okay, part C. Part C, um, we're dealing with soccer tower here. We've been given an angle and two lengths. So I need to figure out whether I'm going to use so, ka, or toa. The way that I figure that out is by labeling my triangle and seeing what lengths I've got. So the side opposite the right angle, that's always our hypotenuse. Then the side that is opposite the angle that we might be trying to find, or the angle that we've been given, is the opposite. And then the side that is touching that angle is the adjacent. So what have we got here? We've got the opposite and the adjacent. So that means that we're going to be using, we're going to be using TOA. So I'm just going to set up my little formula grid here. So I'm going to be using TOA to try and find out what the size of this angle here is. So what is it that I'm trying to find? Am I trying to find the opposite side? No, I've been given the opposite side. Am I trying to find the adjacent side? No, I've been given it. What I'm looking to do then is I'm looking to try to find the angle. And so what I'm going to have, I'm going to be using this. That means that it's going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So I can say that the tan the T that represents our angle, the tan of the angle Y is equal to the opposite 32 divided by the adjacent 46. So that means that Y is equal to the inverse of tan and then 32 divided by 46. So <clears throat> this gives us a value of, and let's just plug this into our calculator, is 
useful you need to make sure when you're doing this that you're in degrees not in radians or gradients otherwise you'll get the wrong answer so make sure that your settings are correct on your calculator so doing this so I've got the inverse of tan 32 divided by 46 and that gives me an answer of 34.82 so give my answer correct one decimal place so my answer is going to be 34.8 degrees and that would be my final answer now if you got any of these questions wrong there is a Pythagoras question and a Sokotoa question for you to have a go at what I suggest you do is pause the video and attempt the questions to see how you get on so the first one this is my Pythagoras question so remembering it's going to be square square add or subtract and then square root <clears throat> so first up what am I going to be doing well I'm going to be doing 10 squared then I'm going to be doing 8 squared so that's 100 this bit here is going to give me 64 and I can see am I going to be adding these numbers or am I going to be subtracting them well because I'm looking for a shorter side so it's a shorter side because it is not opposite the right angle it's touching the right angle so I'm looking for a shorter side I'm not going to be using add so I'm going to be using subtract so now I need to do 100 minus 64 and that is going to give me 36 then I'm going to need to do the square root of 36 and the square root of 36 gives me just an answer of 6 so my answer here the value of x the side of the length the length of the side labeled x is going to be 6 centimeters onto this question here this one we're going to be using Sokotoa for so again let's first of all let's label up our triangle here we've got hypotenuse angle opposite the angle we've been given the side opposite the angle we've been given that's going to be our opposite and then the side touching the angle that's going to be our adjacent so at this point here I need to then figure out which triangle which of the which of Sokka or Tara am I going to use I've got I'm looking for the opposite I've got the adjacent uh, sorry I've got the hypotenuse and so what I can say then is that I'm going to be using so. So I've got my angle here. So what I can say is that the angle O is going to be sine 40. And we're looking for this O. So we are going to be doing the sine of 40 multiplied by the hypotenuse to figure out what O is equal to. So sine 40 multiplied by 9. And that is going to give us an answer of, um, using our calculators here, so sine 40 uh, multiplied by 9, that gives us 5.785, I'm going to round that to one decimal place, so that's going to give me an answer of 5.8 centimetres.